We're taking a look this morning at Montana's naval history. It is a history that dates back decades and history that had its newest chapter started this year. Here's MTN's Sam Hoyle. Earlier this year, the Navy commissioned the USS Montana, a Virginia class fast attack submarine, but it is far from the first boat or ship to be commissioned by the Navy that bears reference to Big Sky Country. Since 1897, the Navy has commissioned 30 boats or ships of various types, starting with the Helena 1, a Navy gunboat that saw action on several occasions in the waters near Cuba and the Philippines during the Spanish-American War, through the most recent addition, the USS Montana 2, a Virginia-class submarine that was commissioned on June 25th of this year. Before the U.S. entered World War II, the U.S. Navy ordered five Montana-class battleships that were sent to be built larger, stronger, and with more firepower than its predecessor, the Iowa class. However, the the plans were scrapped. By that time, the U.S. had won or, or fought at the battles of Coral Sea and Midway, and it was recognized very quickly that aircraft carriers were going to become a priority, and therefore the need for battleships was going to be much less. Uh, so, again, unfortunately, a, a Montana battleship never never emerged. Across the 30 boats and ships with Montana namesakes, 21 were built during World War II. But since then, very few have been built, including the USS Helena IV, a Los Angeles-class submarine that was commissioned in 1987, which begs the question, how do Navy boats and ships get their names? In 1819, an act of Congress put the responsibility on the Secretary of the Navy, which still stands today. However, according to the Naval History and Heritage Command, quote, the procedures and practices involved in Navy ship naming are as much, if not more, products of evolution and tradition than of legislation, end quote. According to the NHHC, the command compiles a list of suitable recommendations, which is then forwarded to the Chief of Naval Operations, which is then forwarded to the Secretary of the Navy, who will have final say over the matter. In Helena, Sam Hoyle, MTN News.